up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and please go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction video you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows as well, live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, live tonight, Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. So y'all come through tonight and hang out with me for a fun night of boxing talk and then you can also catch me live with the singing og kqkc boxing network every sunday morning 9 a.m central standard time um where we break down all the all the fights from that weekend man but let's get it popping man sean porter hates earl spence jr bro i'm convinced you can't convince me otherwise man and i think i know why this is gonna be some facts inside of this but it's gonna be a lot of opinion bro okay so you got your opinion, put it in the comment section. I don't mind a difference of opinion, you know what I'm saying? But my opinion is going to be based on sound logic and, and, and some facts. So, you know, challenge my opinion if you dare, I guess I should say. So Sean Porter absolutely positively hates Earl Spence Jr. So Sean Porter was asked about the welterweight division, which he was a fighter in, which he fought everybody in. So salute to him. You know, you're a warrior. You had a lot of great fights for my entertainment. I appreciate you as a fighter, Sean, and I respect you. But if you're going to be an analyst, bro, you're going to have to take your biases, your biasnesses, your bias, whatever that word is, you're going to have to take that shit out of your analysis, bro, because it's seeping through the pores of the shit that you be saying, bro. So his ranking is Terrence Crawford 1, Keith Thurman 2, and your Dennis Ugas Three. Terrence Crawford is the number one welterweight. If that's what you got, that's cool, bro. Like, pound for pound fighter, former undisputed 140 pounder. You know what I'm saying? Stopped everybody that he's ever fought at 147 pounds. Me personally, I got Earl Spence as number one. Um, off the strength of him having two titles and him beating, you know, some of Terrence Crawford's best wins at welterweight, Earl Spence beat them first. So, I would have Terrence, uh, Earl Spence ahead of him, but to see who truly is number one, they need to do the fight that we all want to see in boxing. That's Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. But if you got Terrence Crawford one, I ain't tripping with that. I even think your Dennis Ugas coming in at number three. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, too. Beat Manny Pacquiao. He's the other champion, the only other champion, because there's four belts. Spence got two. Crawford got one. Ugas is the other champion. Him being number three, that's cool, bro. But damn, bro. Keith Thurman at number two. Man, I don't, Sean Porter, look, bro, I know you and Keith Thurman are friends, bro. And I know that you really, like, out of all the worst ways, you really, like, don't like Earl Spence, bro. But damn, bro, you can't be objective to save your life. So I'm going to read what he said, then I'm going to give y'all my, my opinion as to why he's saying this shit and why he's thinking the way he's thinking, right? And then we're going to debunk this whole notion that Keith Thurman is anywhere near the top five, let alone the top three. But anyway, this is what he says, bro. He said, I think... Ugas will be flirting with number three in terms of competition. Number one and number two are Terrence Crawford, and I believe it or not, Keith Thurman is what he says. Keith Thurman is number two. He said, I know a lot of people would expect me to say Earl Spence Jr. Yeah, that's because literally everyone in boxing believes that. People talk about the intelligence that Earl has. Keith Thurman is highly intelligent. I would be remiss if I didn't say on the Porter Away podcast he came on and broke down to me how he broke down the fight before we got in the ring. Keith is in a position. So basically, Keith Thurman came to your podcast and shit, and Earl Spence didn't come to your shit. So, and Keith Thurman is your friend, so he number two. I got you, bro. I feel what you, I feel what we're saying here. I feel what we're saying. He says Keith is in a position now where I think we'll see his intelligence over anything else he has to offer. We love the power, but at some point, if you're not focused on the power and you're not continuing to grow your power, that was Keith thing since we were kids. He says. Uh, once that goes away, and I watch that from watching other pros, when you can't keep up with the hand speed and speed and somebody stronger here mentally, that's where you win the fight. When we talk about some of the smarter boxers in the game, we should talk about Keith Thurman. We should all, when we talk about Keith Thurman, we should also talk about one of the most inactive fighters in the game. When we talk about Keith Thurman, we should also talk about one of the fighters that is the softest to the body in the game. But anyway, um, they also asked Porter... Um, who would he like to see? Spence, would he like to see the, the, the winner of Spencer Ugas fight Terrence Crawford or Keith Thurman? And he said he want to see both of them. I don't give a damn. That's cool as long as the winner of that fight fight Terrence Crawford first. So I ain't mad at that. 
Then he says, I know that it's hard for me to put bias aside. Yeah, bro. You ain't had to say that shit. We know that. But even when I do that, I think Keith Thurman has with any of those top three guys amazing fights. There's no secret that Terrence Crawford is the guy. A fight between your Dennis and and Terrence Crawford would be amazing. Of course, we've been waiting on a fight between Spence and Crawford for a while. I would love to pepper in Keith Thurman. I think those fights would be exciting too. All right, bro. So here's the thing, man. How you could have both Ugas and Thurman over over Spence is 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 crazy to me. The only argument you could make is for Terrence Crawford. And you could also make an argument for Earl Spence over Terrence Crawford. But the only guy that you could even remotely have a shot at when you look at accolades, when you look at ability, when you look at eye tests, when you look at what they can do in the ring and the way their styles match up, the only one you could give a shot at putting over Earl Spence is Terrence Bud Crawford right now, bro. To put Keith Thurman over him, all of Keith Thurman's best wins, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, they also are Earl Spence's best wins. And Earl Spence beat them worse than Keith Thurman did. Huh? Keith Thurman never fought Kell Brook when Kell Brook was in his prime and at his apex. Earl Spence did. In his hometown. Not his home country, his hometown. I think people leave that shit out a lot. What Earl Spence did... To, to Kell Brook is like somebody going to Omaha and beating up Terrence Crawford. It's like somebody coming here to Dallas in the Cowboy Stadium and beating Earl Spence. He did that. All right? And Keith Thurman has fought once in 2019, once in 2022, and then he fought again earlier like in 2017. So he's fought in 2017, two fights in 2019, in one fight in 2022. Keith Thurman has fought four times in five years. And he's not a champion. And he just came back and he beat Mario Barrios very convincingly. But Mario Barrios had never fought at 147 pounds, bro. So how could you possibly rate Keith Thurman over Earl Spence right now, bro? Yudinus Ugas. Yudinus Ugas has four losses. Yudinus Ugas lost... To Sean Porter. Sean Porter lost to Earl Spence. And Earl Spence is a unified champion. Eudenis Ugas is a one belt champion. So Earl Spence beat the guy who beat Eudenis Ugas. And that guy is raking, raking the guy that he beat over the guy that he got beat by. Sean Porter hates... Earl Spence Jr., bro. Like, there's no other, <laughs> there's no other explanation, fam. And I don't care. Like, like who you like, hate who you hate, whatever, bro. But if you're gonna rank fighters, like, let's keep it a buck. Even the biggest Terrence Crawford fanboys that I have talked to, the ones that really just don't like Earl Spence, the homie Boxer Die, if he's watching this video, salute to him. Guys like him who have Terrence Crawford as the number one pound for pound fighter on the planet and the number one fighter at what's weight obviously even those guys right you know what i'm saying they rank earl spence over keith thurman bro they rank earl spence over your dennis oh guys they got him at number two and they rock heavy for bud so sean porter bro is taking hate to a whole new level with this shit and i believe i know why and i'll let y'all go bro because earl spence jr used to train with kenny porter and them. they've worked together before and i think sean porter knows that Earl Spence Jr. is everything as a fighter that Kenny Porter wishes that Sean Porter was. <laughs> I can just see them in the camp together when they was training back in the day. And I can see them like, yo, I can see Kenny like, Sean, what are you doing? Why, do it like Earl. Sean, what are you doing? You can't do it like Earl. You got to do it like Earl, Sean. Where's your technique, Sean? Sean Porter's fighting style of being a pressure fighter, trying to press you, trying to wear you into submission. You know what I'm saying? Being able to do what he did to Polly Malignaggi, the best performance of his career, in my opinion. That was the best performance of his career. Earl Spence do that shit to everybody that he fights so far, bro. Wear him down. Beat him up. And if he don't stop him, it's a clear, unanimous decision where you know who the winner is because the other guy got his ass beat, bro. That's what Kenny Porter tried to train Sean Porter to be his whole life. And Sean Porter saw 
what his dad wanted him to be. He see that shit in Earl Spence when they was training together. And he see that shit in Earl Spence right now. And he's like, man, I don't like that dude, bro. That's what I was working my whole life to be. I wanted to be a pressure fighter. I wanted to come forward. I wanted to wear guys down. And I wanted to just stop them and just outwill them. But damn it, I'm not as tall as him. I'm not as big as him. I'm not as strong as him. I'm not as skilled as him. So I don't like him, bro. So I don't give a damn what he do. I don't care if he beat me and I beat Udinez. Who guys? Udinez. Who guys is better than him? I don't care if he beat me better than Keith Thurman beat me. I don't care if he beat me better. If he beat Danny Garcia better than than Keith Thurman beat Danny Garcia. I don't care if he fought Kell Brook when Keith Thurman wanted nothing to do with Kell Brook. I don't care about any of that, bro. I don't care that he's in a unification fight coming off of his injuries and Keith Thurman is fighting a 140-pounder coming off of um, just taking some time off. I don't care about any of that. Keith Thurman is better, bro. That's the type of shit Sean Porter is on, dog. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Yo, hate is showing, bro. Your hate is showing. Then he had the audacity after this asinine, bullshit-ass analysis. He had the audacity to be like, yeah, sometimes my bias, you know. It's hard for me not to be biased. Yeah, bro, we can tell. You ain't even had to say that shit. But anyway, y'all let me know, bro. If you agree with me and you think Sean Porter hates Earl Spence, let me know in the comment section, bro. If you disagree with me, let me know why you disagree with me. Because I think I just laid out a bunch of facts and a really sound argument as to why Sean Porter can't stand Earl Spence, bro. He ain't never going to be objective when it comes to that man. Earl Spence could beat Eudenius Ugas. And then Sean Porter be like, yeah, I saw the fight. My rankings are Terrence Crawford 1, Keith Thurman 2, and Jardinus Ugas still 3 because I think he did some things in that fight. And then I would go ahead and I would put Earl, based on his last performance, being a unified champion, um, three belt holder, one fight away from undisputed, I would rank Earl Spence as the fourth best welterweight. He would say some shit like that, bro. Sean Porter, cut that shit out, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow us over on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. Breakdowns and predictions, man. Hit me on my email. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. We go live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live tonight, every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central time then you can catch me live with the singing og kqkc boxing network sunday morning 9 a.m central standard time i appreciate everybody watching these videos enjoy the rest of y'all day and with that we out of here y'all peace